Hi guys, welcome to Farming Simulator 23 Mobile Edition on Android. Um, my name is Farm Mo, and we're going to do a Let's Play series on Newbrun. This is episode 1. We will basically be harvesting the first field and replanting all the crops and maybe getting some chickens and fertilizer spreader and so on. So just going through the settings quickly. Um, I've put gyroscope steering off for now, but maybe I'll put it back on because I'm still not used to driving with the normal controls. And then just all the worker refill settings to off. Okay, let's go. Probably we start with the harvesting. With this Deutsch Fire top liner. Uh, one thing that I see in these mobile versions is big reliance on workers. So we've got to make sure that we never run out of money. And um, I think therefore we're not going to spend on something crazy up front. We will just do the two basic things for now. That is getting the fertilizer spreader and uh, a sprayer for the herbicide. Which maybe we won't use today. But uh, we'll see. The, the main goal today is to get all three of these fields turned around. And... Uh, most likely, I think we'll probably be doing canola because canola's best price is in about five to six months when it can be harvested if we plant them all today. So now we've got the John Deere here. This is the most powerful tractor that we've got on the farm and the cultivator. Let's see if we can get this field done for us quickly. Here's the one Messi Ferguson. Let's switch this to canola. I uh, think the first big investment on implements will probably be a bigger cultivator and a bigger seeder um, so that we can turn around these fields faster. We'll see how it goes. Put that on the worker. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. All right, cool. Let's go get the other Messi. Uh, while I was there, I thought, okay, let's maybe first come to the chickens. So we've got one rooster and two chickens, and they zero ones, so it's young ones. So I think let's get another batch of young ones, and then they'll all kind of be ready at the same time to start producing eggs and reproduce. I'm not going to fill it up to 30, we'd get 25, so we've got 28, so eventually we can see when it fills up to 30, we know they're reproducing. Right, so this is the other Massey, same as the other one that we've got. It's 170 horsepower. It's faster than the John Deere, so we'll definitely be using one of the Masseys for the for the carting. So at the shop now. We need to come and get the fertilizer spreader. And there's only two options really for fertilizer spreaders. This is Amazon ZATS 3200 which has got 3200 liters and a 32 meter width. And then the Bredel which has got a much bigger capacity over 18,000 but uh, the width is less. Sorry the Amazon is 42 meters. So yeah, I think we'll go with Amazon. Let's, let's get it hooked up. I'm still getting used to this that it attaches by itself. You, you, you don't click a button. It, you click a button to disconnect it, but to attach it you just drive up to it. There we go. Alright, we'll see you back at the farm. Okay, so here we are at the full point. Let's see how much it's going to cost us for 3,200 liters of fertilizer. Suppose going on prices that I remember from FS22, it's probably two for each liter, so it will be over 6,000.
Yeah, 6,144. Let's go drop it off by the one field and then uh, we can empty the harvester. So the harvester is probably not full yet, I mean it's got an 8,500 capacity. It's actually more than the trailer can hold, the trailer can only do 8,000. But uh, the reason why I'm doing this now is that we can go and sort the chicken feed so that they find for the next couple of days probably. And then the rest we can dump in the silo and then when the harvest is finished that can all just go into the silo as well. Because the price for wheat is definitely not the best at the moment. So we'll hang on to the wheat in any case because we need to feed the chickens but I don't think these chickens will eat much today. 30 chickens is, is not a lot. Now to find a trigger for this. I don't know, you, it's probably going to auto unload again. There's not going to be a button that you need to press like, like on FS22 where you, you see the icon coming up and you have to press I to unload. Now let's go around and try it from the other side. forward there no, I just passed it I sometimes struggle to start to reverse there we go and it's not taking on much I think this small Pin, yeah, 750. It's full. Okay, and what's left we come and drop off at the silo. And again, it should auto unload if we're in the right position. Yeah. Suppose now we can do some of the fertilizing. There you can see the fertilizer on the top of the hill. I think we should do the one or two aid rows here because this barn where the bales and, and pellets can get stored is very close to the fuel that I don't know if a worker is going to be able to do this on its own. So I'm just quickly going to do a couple of headlands here and then eventually set the work on it again. Okay, as you can see I did two red rows there and did a row coming down from the far end and I'm going to put on the worker now and hopefully it's okay. Alright, we hooked up to the fertilizer. Let's fertilize this field. It's nearly finished being drilled. And then we can go and fertilize the field that has been cultivated because it's nearly finished also and this field that's been harvested obviously will leave to last so that at least it's it's cultivated before we, we fertilize it let's see how wide this thing throws I'm probably too close to the side I think yeah, no, it's throwing much, much wider than the line but So, this field, you should be able to do it in two passes. No, definitely two passes. I'll do this myself, no need for work for this. nearly done now. Then we'll check the map. And just stop first. Oh, 
all done. That field looks good. Let's move on. Uh, the harvester, we can empty this into the trailer. And if it will automatically from the trailer go into the silo or we have to attach a tractor. Oh, it's actually tipping. That's funny. But okay. It's, uh, I suppose the mechanics of the game is based on the vicinity of where the trailer is parked. And now we can probably just park up this stage for our top line uh, harvester of ours. I mean, we're not going to use it for at least probably what five months or so, unless we buy a fuel that we can harvest before. So now let's do this field, and now it looks like I started too far from the edge. Definitely missing a piece on the right there. Let's get this done, and uh, I'll go and sort out that little piece. Let's see on the map. Yeah, there's definitely a little piece to be missing. But yeah, I like this better. Um, Basically it looks like on all these fields, two passes, you cover the whole field as long as you start in the right location. Okay, heading back in the other direction, looking better. Definitely easy two passes, but yeah, that little strip there, we'll go and sort it out. the last bit of the strip and that's it, this field done we're probably not going to use it today but since this tractor is not doing anything at the moment and this fields are now done except for the last one I'm going to the shop um, to get uh, the sprayer for the crop protection for the herbicide and again here we've got two the one is much bigger, but it's too expensive for us in any case. So we're going for the smaller one. 39,500, so that leaves us with just 28,000 and we still need to fill it up. So yeah, I will see you back at the farm once we fill it up. Let's just check the prices. Yeah, see wheat is, is, is not good at the moment. It's 800. And it's close to the lower end of it, 800 and something. Now let's hook this up. You see with some of the other implements the tractor automatically gets a weight in front when you hook up. I wonder with this one if you're gonna get a weight or a tank. Because I don't think the spray on its own is normally over 2000. Ah, it's a tank. Alright, see you back at the farm. And now we're back at the full point on the farm. Obviously this full point can do herbicide, fertilizer and seed. We're going to chuck in the herbicide now because sprayers in FS23 can only do crop protection. And let's see how much this is. And that was 3888. The seed is done. Uh, I'm gonna try and let a worker send it to the other field. I've never done this before, but it looks like you click on the tractor on the map and then it appears and then you can create a job. We'll try to let it do field work, but I don't know, do you need to click it on the field or next to the field? And if you click it on the field, is it gonna be 
only starting part way onto the field so for now I'm going to put it there next to the field but probably it's just going to drive there but we'll see we'll figure it out and there it goes good so the cultivating is nearly done on this field then we can send it to the field that was harvested and then we're nearly done for the day so starting on this field just a little bit of wetland here especially next to this building and now that we're going up the side, I suppose we can put it on the worker. Alright, the worker didn't start, he just sort of drove up here. So we'll just get it going and set it to a worker. A lot of time has passed. I let the workers do the cultivating on this field that was harvested and the other worker is still busy seeding that last field. So now I can do the fertilizing on this field and we can have them all done. So yeah, it's getting late in the day now. I, this field still needs to be trolled. Um, probably going to do that off camera, let the worker do it and no need to, 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 to show it. Yes, even this field, two passes fertilizing can do it so let's get this one done uh, there the John Deere the cultivator is I'll go and find a spot now for for all the implements and tractors where they can park for the night ok there's a piece at the top and a piece at the bottom right that, that's missed but we'll sort that out so the seed is done on the other field this is now the last field that needs to be seeded and then, then we're done. Let's chuck it on a worker. And he can work, I don't know, probably till 7 o'clock. Let's find a spot for the John Deere. And it can park here next to the diesel tank There's enough space it's not like any tractors really need fuel at the moment but yeah and the messy with the fertilizer spreader everything is in their space just now this work is going guys I think that's gonna be it for the day thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope you like, share and subscribe and come back for episode 2. If you didn't see the first look video, please go and watch that. There should be a link. And then I hope to see you tomorrow in episode 2. Have a great day. Cheers everyone.